guys, my name is Dominic Flex and I'm joined with FGA gemologist Benedict and today we're going to go over color change. Yeah. Because there's a really unique phenomenon in gemstones where there's only four types but they will literally change color. Not a little bit, a lot. And we're going to cover everything from the differences between color change, color shifts, pleochrosm, so optical phenomenons that we are seeing in gemstones. So maybe this can give you a better understanding. So color change, just you see two different colors. So alexandrite it's going to be raspberry and green, purple oh, yeah. and green, uh, garnet's going to be more blue and mm -hmm. raspberry, but these are two different colors. Yeah. Um, color shift, if it, it's going to be two different colors, but like... It's this, very slight. It's the same shade. Yeah. So it's going to be pink, but like cold pink and warm mm -hmm. pink, or like purple blue to violet purple. So it's still going to be purple, mm -hmm. but there's going to be a change. Um, in sapphires, it can go from like amethyst color to like royal blue outside. So for me, that's two different colors. So that's a color change. These like Malaya garnets, um, they go from like cool pink to like peachy warm pink. Mm -hmm. So that's more of a color shift. But there's no like you no know, hard line on what's called what. But that would be the the more striking it is. Yeah. And then pleochroism. It's also kind of like a color change, but we don't call it color <laughs> change because it doesn't change color. Like if you don't move it, it's not going to change color. Yeah. So it. it but also, I think a really easy distinguish is whether it's an incandescent and daylight, a color change will change versus like it takes that two shifts in color of light versus a pleochroic, it will do that regardless of whether it's in daylight or whether it's in yeah. incandescent yeah. light, it's going to do the same thing. A lot of stones are pleochroic, it's just, it's not as obvious mm -hmm. as let's say tanzanite and andalusite. Yeah. Like andalusite, it's going to be green to red to brown and like really if you tilt it or like iolite. If you look at it at a certain angle, it's going to be colorless and you yeah. tilt it and it becomes difference in the structure of the stone or like in the crystal structure of the stone that in one direction, it's going to absorb uh, mm -hmm. differently than in another direction. So that's the difference mm -hmm. uh, between color change and color shift and pleochroism. All right, so let's break down the four different types of color change. Let's start with alexandrites because these are the most commonly known. So on camera, by the way, these are going to look very blue, but they're actually green. They're very beautiful green. And these guys are going to turn like a purple. Yeah. Yeah. So they turn, we'll show you on like a separate video, but I even use like just a lighter and we call them, so emeralds by day when you're outside, mm -hmm. the light is more white. So it's going to appear more blue. And then when there's more yellow light, it's mm -hmm. going to appear raspberry. And then depending on the localities, it can vary like the, the green color mm -hmm. can vary from like minty green to forest green to yellow almost green. Yeah. And to almost like blue blue sometimes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then the raspberry color will show like red like purple like purple pink but it's gonna be very it's it's like a Two high colors. contrast because mm -hmm. it's, it's that's it it's green and purple or yeah. like blue and red it's mm -hmm. it's totally different yeah for alexandra if you can really see which ones have a strong color change yeah. because they're so much darker like this one just by looking at it is a little bit of a paler green this is more saturated a little bit darker i know that it has a higher yeah. higher color change so it's going to be more valuable yeah so Alexandrite would be, I would say, the king of uh, color change. Yep. Um, then I would say between garnets and sapphires, uh, I'll go with sapphires just because they're more mm -hmm. commonly known. Sapphires can go from like royal blue outside to more purple inside. So is it a real dramatic color change? I don't know, but it's really cool because it's still it's mm -hmm. very blue it's like no purple outside and then very purple inside they're more expensive than i would say a purple sapphire a lot cheaper than a royal blue sapphire so you kind of get the royal blue as long as you stay outside <laughs> so yeah they're a good good color change option i mean let's look at the price this is 2.73 carat and it goes for 8200 i mean it's not bad no so it's yeah it's definitely more expensive than a purple at that size mm -hmm. but like a royal blue 2.70 something carat it's gonna be a lot more yeah so it's kind of between and it's it's cool because to me color change it's kind mm -hmm. of you have 
two stones because yeah. yeah. you have to like both colors. It's just more <laughs> unique. It's more unique. You know, yeah. I think it's a little bit fun, and I think people will notice. Like if you're out for dinner and then you go into a restaurant, your, your stone will change color when you're at candlelight, and I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, even yeah. if you're the only one who knows. It's like it. a little nerdy. Yeah. But like, <laughs> That's why we're here. Garnets. Mm. So garnets can color shift or color change, but we're interested about the color change. Uh, these are all from Madagascar. Mm -hmm. Most of the ones I've seen that are good quality are for from Madagascar. And they will turn from like a more blue or like green, these ones are more green, to very like purple. Even here, you see, you see some it. are more mm -hmm. blue and some are more purple, and it's like oh, it's so pretty. It's very dramatic, and the bigger piece too, because they're mm -hmm. they're they're kind of darker, so it makes them less. They're less bright colored than Alexandrite, but they, they really change from like deep blue to raspberry purple, and they also color shift like these pink or like. Malaya rhodolite mm -hmm. uh, family, it's not rare that they will color shift from yeah. more peachy to more like a cold pink. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is the Tsarite, yeah. or the Diaspora, that's from Turkey. It's less known, it's got a bunch of names, some that I'm not even sure we're allowed to use because it's all like trademarked, but you can find it under the name of Sultanite or tsarite or diaspora which is the mineral and it goes from a like a yeah. lime green yeah. to a i will say more of like a beigey pink if you look online um it's gonna be like hot pink and lime mm -hmm. green and it is not what it is unless it's like a 15 carat stone like and it won't be hot pink. Like the image so online Photoshop. for this stone are wild, but the Alexandrites do. If you Google Alexandrites, yeah, the image you will see is is a little bit of everything. There's like coating. There's like they they will put the stone and put like both colors at the same time. That's not what it looks like. Yeah, and and so tsarite is more, but it's it's two different colors, but it's a lot more subtle you really have to be careful when you're shopping online yeah <laughs> like we take a lot of time to literally color match the stones because uh, clients will send me like references and i can just see right away that they've been photoshopped yeah they've been completely altered yeah. because they just don't look like that gemstones yeah. steel sapphires often we we see a picture and we're like oh yeah okay like <laughs> we'll find this but you'll have to photoshop the image to make it look like that yeah. But but yeah, Sarites uh, online the image uh, really show like a, a pink pink, but it's really more like a peachy. But it's still fun and mm -hmm. it's more affordable. Let's go into more into depth into like what actually causes the color change. So let's start with just colors, why we see colors and how it happens. Okay. Because that's kind of like the foundation to understand the color shift. So without light. We don't see colors. If we close all the lights, all these stones, they will have no color. So the lights interact. So when it enters the stone, the stone absorb part of the wavelength. And so what we see is the residual um, light. So whatever is not absorbed is reflected back to us and our brain interprets these wavelength as colors. When we use different source of colors, the spectrum that is being absorbed is different. Um, so let's say you use like the, the daylight, which is a white light, it's got like more of a blue mm -hmm. spectra and the candlelight or incandescent light has got more red. So this will impact the color we perceive. So this is what happens in the Alexandrite. Um, so the daylight has more of a blue spectra. So the wave, the, the, the like rainbow part is the light mm -hmm. and the, the line is what's absorbed by the gemstone. So see how in the daylight it absorbs a lot of the blue, but it let go a lot because the light is very high in those blue and very low in the reds. Mm -hmm. And a candlelight has very low blue and a lot of reds. 
And so what happens is that in the daylight, it's going to let this part, it's going to let it through mm -hmm. and it's going to let less um, of the red part. So we're, we're going to see it very green because there's only blue and green that's residual, that's coming yeah. back to the eye. And then in a more yellow light or incandescent light, it's got more red and, and so the blue and the green is more absorbed and the red and so the eye just sees the raspberry and the mm -hmm. purple because it kind of sees the blue and the red but it doesn't see as much green. So that's kind of like an easy way to explain and that's how like most uh, gemstones are colored. A lot of these stones can be found in various locations. Yeah. Is that going to affect the colors that that come out of the stones? You know, the classic Alexandrite from, you know, Russia that you can't really get, which is red and the green, or you have Tanzania, which is more green and yellow, or yeah. kind of brown. So for Alexandrites, Russian and Brazilian material is very similar in terms of range of colors. It all comes to the level um, of concentration of trace elements you have. So mm -hmm. if you have a lot, it's going to produce a darker stone, a more dramatic color change. I would say Russian and Brazilian, it's from bright to deep green to bluish to mm -hmm. red and purple. But it's going to be similar quality. It's going to look very similar. Also to be called, because Alexandrite is a chrysoberyl. Yeah. And to be called Alexandrite, it has to be a color change. So for me, a lot of these other Alexandrites, mm -hmm. which is uh, like Tanzanian, um, I've seen some in Madagascar, they're more like a pastel green to a pastel greenish red, but like it's not pretty weak. It's pretty weak. It's yeah. still Alexandrites, but because it, it still has the green mm -hmm. and the, the reddish. Um, but it's definitely lower color change, uh, lower quality. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, do leave them down below because we always try to answer them. And if you do like short form content, you guys always hop onto our Instagram or our TikTok where we kind of break them down into like little one minute segments. So sometimes it's a little easier. And of course, as always, if you are looking for gemstones, my email link is like down below. You can just send us an email and we'll get back to you. And uh, thank you so much, Benedict. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.